by eliminating the old-fashioned naily golpe and getting to the, the powerful strumming for accompaniment which enhance what the others are doing. So some ignorant guys out there said, yeah, this is just a scale play. And no, 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 this is rhythmically. Really. We all have to become strong rhythmically at some point. Right? Because if you cannot accompany, accompany with power, then what is your kitsch version of flamenco? You need to become very strong in the strumics. Therefore, I will again dedicate, besides the 2,500 videos showing this channel, now we are starting other series of strumics, of how to, to succeed with the strumics and learning different, different variations which will make your rhythm powerful and this will give you a presence in the group or anything you play in the context of playing with the guitar or to accompany a singer or anything you to play will give you presence much because right hand is emphasized a lot in, in flamenco contemporary guitar these things before Paco did not exist so tell me what is Savica so of Nino Ricardo playing Mute the strumming. Where it is that? There is not such a thing. It started all with Almorama in 1976. You know. It's all about rhythm. If we don't have rhythm, so we have to practice all the time. Metronome, Pacos of that. He taught that even to Faru, to his dancer, in the last documentary. This guy, he said it there, that this is an advice which was good for life, but if we are not good in the strumming, and to be good in the strumming, what do we need? We need supervision. These things you cannot learn by, by watching videos. It's no possible. You have to, to train with the whole training program, using the metronome, recording the updates, sending the homeworks on listed videos from YouTube and, and, and with me verifying what you are doing is right. Otherwise, the, the problem is not for practice or people sometimes think, yeah, it, it need to practice more. No, it's, you need to practice right five minutes. That's what you need to do. But if you cannot verify if what you are doing is right or not, that is the risky area. That's why I said, do it yourself and be confused forever. The best way to save time and to do something really which makes the difference is to join the study program properly. And then you, of course, people for a hobby. It's not for professionals, this is for everyone. Even professionals don't play like this. So this is what we need to, to get because when we will accompany pieces there, we need to have very powerful Strumming that will 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 tell the whole difference about so of course everyone can start from the scratch up to the highest level 
So you are all welcome. You send me an email and we start right away. They have many people interested in this thing. And twice a year we do this workshops here in Malaga as well. People, the guys from all over the world come and unite. So rhythm, yeah, this is the most important aspect. And then of course, there is the harmony part also, which Paco enhance and, uh, and yeah, make it big. Again, as everything he touched became just a uh, uh, magic stone, the, the touchstone thing. Uh, okay, so yeah, be, be strong in rhythm and then you are, you are okay, you can play in any context. This is the importance of the strummings. And take a look to the series of the, about the strumming thing, which I will post in these days. <laughs>